Hey, welcome back. It's Tamika TTC. If this is your first time here, welcome. If uh, you've been hanging out with me for a while, welcome back. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be doing the what's in my hospital bag, or I should say my hospital bags, because I have three of them. All right, so um, they serve distinct purposes. <laughs> I don't know. I think my cat is doing something funny. Anyway, they serve distinct purposes. There's a reason why um, I have chosen to split them up. Please don't mind all the stuff in my background. I am still trying to organize and all of that great stuff. So, um, so I am going to start with the first bag, and that is the baby's stuff. Okay, so... Starting with this bag, what I have in here are, I've got some socks, okay, and mittens. Um, it was suggested that mittens and or socks be included because newborn babies ha can have long nails and scratch themselves. So, that was a suggestion um, by a TTC. Um, single mom by choice of mine, Brandy. Thank you. Uh, she suggested that. So, all right. So I'm not bringing very much. I'm a bit of a minimalist when it comes to packing. Um, so uh, I don't have very much, even though I have three bags. I know it's weird, but I don't have very much. So I have a swaddle blanket, um, and there's a matching cap. There's a purpose uh, behind this. Um, I also have some extra caps to keep the baby's head warm. <laughs> so, I have that. And I have um, two outfit choices depending on what he'll fit because he is me measuring big uh, for him to come home in. So, here is one shirt and uh little footy pants these are i think are newborn no this is zero to three months so that is one option and of course there's a matching cap um for this and then the second option is like a sweatsuit <laughs> So, um, there's this sort of onesie. This is newborn size. Oh, this is three months. Three month size. And then there's these cute little sweatpants with the little cloud bottoms. And it comes with like a sweat, a hooded sweatshirt. So, it is October. Um, it's still a little warm here, but it can get a little chilly. I don't know what the temperature is going to be again i also don't know how big he's going to be so i got a three month outfit and a zero to three month um outfit and um this is a potential cap uh for that as well so that is all oh and um another pair of socks <laughs> so that is all that i have in the baby's bag so this is really all i'm bringing for baby um, I'm just going to use what's in the hospital uh, while I'm there. There's going to be a lot of skin to skin, so I'm not really going to be dressing him very much. And I'm hoping to not really be there for very long. So, um, I just wanted to keep that separated so that the baby stuff is with the baby. And then there's room to bring anything home uh, that I might need to bring home. So, that's what's in this bag. This is a full uh, baby bag. This is one of the gifts I got from the shower. It does come with like a changing pad. <coughs> Pardon me. So, it's a full, full baby bag. Um, and so, that is what I am bringing for baby. So, I have a carry-on suitcase for myself. Um, it is pretty full I'll say I'll say it's pretty full but the thing about it is it's full with like 
bulky things so um it's not like packed to the brim uh for me i don't really need a whole lot but because i'm going to be there for a few days and um i'm likely having a c-section <laughs> um i wanted to make sure that i was comfortable and that i had things that made me comfortable as far as like walking around uh because that's how you recover quickly from an abdominal surgery you get out there and you walk walk okay so in this bag i have there's a nightgown as you can see this matches the swaddle for the baby um i have a couple of uh, breastfeeding friendly nightgowns this is one of them I have two um, as you can see it zippers so I can zip it down and uh, breastfeed or do skin to skin with the baby um, whenever I'm in the room by myself but can be presentable for walking around or for company <laughs> that may visit so I have more than one of these I actually have two um, Here's the second one that I'm choosing to bring with me. I actually bought three of these. I'm only going to bring two of these nightgowns. I do also have this um, breastfeeding tunic. It's like a tank top. As you can see, it's like the gray stripes. So they kind of match one of the outfits that the baby might come home in. So this is potential for me to come home in that uh, I think I still have to work out pants or something. I'm not sure what I'm coming home in just yet. So maybe my bag's not fully packed. Um, what I have here, underwear. Um, I put a few pairs in here. Some are high-waisted, some are like boy shorts. But <clears throat> I wasn't sure what I would be comfortable with. I'm also not sure what my C-section incision will be. If it'll be a transverse, which means a bikini line cut or if it will utilize my fibroid surgery and revise that, which will be a vertical cut. I'm not sure, so I just wanted to be prepared. Uh, I'm mostly gonna be using whatever they give me in the hospital, but, um, you know, if I get a chance to shower and I feel like I wanna wear regular underwear, um, I'm just bringing some options for that. So I have that there. Uh, I am also bringing let me get these back in here. Okay. So, so I have a robe. <laughs> this is a purple robe. I wanted to bring something purple, something uh to remind me of my sister. I'm also, um, I've been thinking recently about other things that I wanted to bring. And I, I have this picture of me and Gwen. It's up on my mantle right now, but I think I want to bring that and have that in the room. It's a picture of um, Gwen and myself at my high school graduation. So I think I want to bring that to the room <clears throat> as well. Uh, I also have... A binder this is a surgical binder this here is one of the binders that I came home with after my fibroid surgery so um, I don't know how tight I'll be able to get it but uh, it provides a lot of support so if I'm going to be walking around um, if I can get it around me tight enough that'll help support my stomach while I walk and um, help pull everything in <clears throat> behind the c-section um i have this little thing here i keep jewelry in it i mean it's not like real jewelry but it's just some jewelry options um i will have what's called a fresh 48 photo shoot that i might have in the hospital depending on her availability so um i'll have a little bit of jewelry that i can opt to wear but that little pouch is what's typically in my suitcase when I travel for work. So I just left that there. Also what's typically in there 
is my soap and my toothbrush. Um, so these are things that typically just stay in this suitcase. Uh, so when I travel for work, uh, that is always there. I am also bringing um, Owen uh, travel deodorant. And then you can't see this here, but I have like some floss. I also have like um, cotton rounds and Q-tips. Uh, what I'm also bringing are slippers and shower shoes. Okay, so <laughs> there's that. So I'm not like barefoot in the hospital shower. So that's what's in this bag. That's really all that's in this bag. You see, it's not a lot of stuff. Um, I think I still need to work on my bring home outfit. I think I contemplated maybe coming home in one of those nightgowns. I don't know. <laughs> but um, we'll see how that goes. But I think I'm going to um, have a pair of uh, um, have a pair of uh, loose fitting uh, pants uh, that I will wear with that uh, with the, the tank. And then I might bring like a maxi dress. Um, I'll, I'll pick an easy maxi dress that I can throw on. And then I'll just throw that in the bag. And I'll have that <clears throat> to, as an option to wear home. So I didn't really want to mess with pants too much. Because, you know, pants typically means you have to bend over a bit. I know, I know when you have... A c-section you're not supposed to bend over so much so i didn't i just really wanted something that i could just slip over my head really fast and get out of dodge so i'll probably just throw um a quick maxi dress in here and then uh, that'll be complete i'll either throw it in here or in my third bag which i'm about to show you my third bag so my third bag is a backpack and this I often travel with for work so it is a travel sorry a travel bag so um, I plan to bring uh, my laptop the laptop is not in the bag right now but so basically how I was working this is the baby bag and the um, carry-on luggage stayed in my trunk i literally just retrieved them from the trunk and then this backpack comes back and forth in the house with me so when i would go to my appointments not knowing how things would go um considering my swelling is getting really bad um not knowing whether i would have proteins in my urine or anything like that so when i would go to my appointments i would bring i would pack the backpack the little bit that i would need to pack in it and um, bring that with me. And then I will just bring it back in the house. So, oh, so in the backpack I have the pants. <laughs> so it looks like I had already packed that. Um, more cotton rounds, more Q-tips. Um, this is my liquids bag that I often travel with when I travel for work. So this is toner and this is face wash and um, what I'm using for moisturizer is not in here. It's currently in my bathroom so that's one thing that I have to pack because I am planning on the First 48 photo shoot. I am packing a little bit of makeup. This is mostly just brushes um, <clears throat> and then some foundation. I don't know if I'll actually use it or not, but probably, um, <laughs> it looks like I wasn't sure what I was doing with my hair, so I did pack a brush and a comb, but as you can see, my hair is braided now, so I don't need to brush and comb. Uh, travel toothpaste. I threw this in here really quick because uh, I, this, this is sort of what I packed fast um, when I had the little scare, and I wasn't sure, so I'm going to take this out of here. And uh, put this in here for now. Uh, what else do I have in here? Okay. And 
I also have my um, insulin pump supplies. So these are um, the ports and then um, these are the reservoirs that hold the insulin. So this is basically roughly six days worth of supplies. So just want to make sure I have an abundance. What is, um, I also packed a bonnet. I think I'm going to, this bonnet is not going to fit these braids, so I have to pack a different bonnet now. <laughs> I'm glad I'm going through this, huh? Um, and I will probably pack a, um, a, a, a scarf as well. So, pardon me. What I also have in here are a couple of snacks. But, um, I'm going to have some other snacks. These are like protein bars. So, um, so I have these snacks. And I'll probably throw maybe a few more in here. Just in case I'm like hungry or what have you after I give birth. So there'll be something, uh, that I'll have around. So as you can see, I'm pretty pretty light of a packer um i am uh, this is how i am when i travel for work um i have literally gone to philadelphia for a whole week with just a backpack and a carry-on bag so i am not an overpacker like at all um i just don't want to lug a bunch of stuff and i don't like checking luggage <laughs> so I try to keep it as light as I possibly can. So no more than like two pairs of shoes. One pair that I'm wearing there. Another pair in my bag. That takes up a lot of space. So um, I'm typically, you know, just doing that. And yeah, the other one. Um, and, uh, you know, I just want to keep it light, you know. So aside from... The picture that's in a frame that's up on my mantle of my sister and I. And um, the maxi dress that I want to throw in here. This is pretty much in the other bonnet. Uh, this is pretty much it uh, for my hospital bag. I uh, plan to use all that the hospital gives me. So I'm just going to use, you know, the pads that the hospital gives. Um, if I'm find the underwear that they give ill-fitting then I do have some extra underwear that I can wear um, I have the nightgowns uh, and the robe that I can walk around in once I'm ready to walk around with the baby and all of that and all of that is um, breastfeeding friendly and I believe in that underwear bag is also some breastfeeding bras so, I'll have some bras that I can breastfeed in as well. I didn't see that in there. I need to make sure the breastfeeding bras um, are in there. I believe they are. Let me check. Um, but I believe I believe the breastfeeding bras are also in there. I only have two of them. So, there's that. But, uh, that's pretty much it. That's what's in my hospital bag. So, um... Also, uh, what you didn't see is an oil. I've been using bio oil on my stomach. So, um, that's what I will use as a, a moisturizer. It smells like baby, uh, uh, baby powder. So, um, I'll oil up and lotion up with that, uh, after a shower. So that's bio oil. And, um, I've also been using that on my face for a moisturizer because my regular I'm all out of my regular moisturizer and I've been too busy and a bit lazy to order my regular moisturizer so I've been using the bio oil on my face but I've been breaking out horribly the hormones the third trimester hormones have been wreaking havoc on my skin um so you know I've got a new bump here I've got some old bumps here some stuff are all around my chin and my jawline it's just horrible, but it's just pregnancy, so um, I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with it, but uh, that's pretty much it. That's what's in my hospital bag. 
thanks for joining me <laughs> sticky baby that's the all of ttc bye